Using the correct bidding strategy in your Google Ads campaign can be the difference between your Google Ads campaign making your business lots of money, or by using the incorrect bidding strategy for your Google Ads campaign means that your campaign is nothing more than a donation to Google, where you are endlessly paying for clicks but getting no sales or no conversions. But never fear because you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna be clearly explaining the different types of bidding strategies that you can use for your Google Ads campaigns, show you which bidding strategies can be used on the different types of Google Ads campaigns, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you when you should actually use each type of bidding strategy. And then if you stay around to the end of this video, I'll show you how to correctly use the right bidding strategy for your new Google Ads campaign, or if you've got an existing Google Ads campaign, I'm gonna show you when and how you can actually change your Google Ads bidding strategy. If we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And all of the information that I'm sharing with you today has come from actual real life Google Ads campaigns that I've been managing since 2010. And I'll be focusing and teaching you what is actually working right now in Google Ads. So if you wanna learn more about the strategies that are working in Google Ads right now, why don't you quickly subscribe to my channel? Thank you so much. Let's get into today's teaching. So let's start by going through the different different types of Google Ads bidding strategies that you can use on your campaigns. And there are three different categories of bidding strategies. And the first one is bidding strategies that are targeting your impression share. Then secondly, it's bidding strategies that are focused on clicks. And finally, there are groups of bidding strategies which are focused on getting more conversions or sales for your Google Ads campaign. So firstly, let's start with impression share. Now, if you're not sure what the impression share metric is, this is purely a percentage of the amount of traffic that your ads are showing for the keywords which you're targeting. So for example, if you have an impression share of 70%, this means out of every 100 searches, your ads are appearing for 70 of those search terms. So with the Google Ads bidding strategies for impression share, you actually set your desired impression share, which you want, but further than that, you can actually dictate whether you want that impression share to be gauged by whether your ads appear anywhere on the page, meaning that you appear anywhere in the top 10 position. So that's either the top four positions at the top of the page and then the bottom six pages below all of the organic results. Or you can also dictate saying that you only want the impression share for the top of page results. So this is for positions one through to position four. Or finally, you can actually say that you only want the impression share to be counted versus your top position. So the absolute top of page, meaning position one. So for example, if you want your ads to appear in the top four positions at least 70% of the time, you would set your impression share goal at 70% and Google will try and ensure that your ads appear for 70% of the available searches for the keywords that you're targeting in positions one, two, three, and four. Now, if this is not possible because your daily budget is too low, Google will actually give you a pop-up recommendation saying that you need to increase your daily budget. Now, this type of campaign bidding strategy is actually available for both search and display campaigns in Google. And I find this ideal for branded campaigns, competitor campaigns, or specific campaigns. So for branded campaigns, I do use this, especially if you've got a competitor who is actually bidding on your own brand term, and you do see a drop in your sales or in your conversions, what you can actually do is go through and set up a branded campaign where you're targeting only branded keywords and set the bidding strategy to your impression share. And depending how aggressive you wanna be on this, you can actually set an impression goal of 90% saying that you wanna appear in the top position 90% of the time. And that can be really successful in stopping your competitors by taking advantage of your branded keywords. But then in reverse, if you've built a really good brand awareness and you wanna start attacking your competitors, you can actually set an impression share goal for specific branded keywords of your competitors. And in this case, you're actually doing the opposite and that you're saying that when someone searches your competitor's brand name, you wanna appear on either 60%, 70% or 80% or even higher of those search terms in either position one or those top of page results. And then finally, I will also sometimes use this impression share bidding strategy for specific products. And then especially if this specific or individual product has very good keyword data in that the specific search terms which relate to this individual product, I find that this is an excellent strategy to use so that you can make sure when people are searching those specific search terms that you're always at the top of the page. Now the second type of bidding strategy which you can use in your Google Ads campaigns relates to clicks. And the first option here is where you can actually use the maximize clicks. Now as the name suggests, 
is that this tells Google that you wanna focus on generating as many clicks as possible using your assigned daily budget in Google Ads. And then there's a slight variation to this bidding strategy, which is maximize clicks with a click bid limit. Now this looks to focus on the same goal of generating as many clicks as possible using your daily budget. However, you put a cap on that, you're saying that you only want clicks that are not over a certain CPC limit that you set. So for example, if you set your cost per click limit at $2 and you have a daily budget of $10, Google will get as many clicks as possible as long as they are under that $2 per click. And this type of Google Ads campaign bidding strategy is available for search and display campaigns. And I find it ideal for new accounts where you do not yet have any existing conversion data. Now, before we go any further, I wanna stop right here because that is a very important point. And I wanna emphasize if that you are using a brand new Google Ads account, you should be using maximized clicks first instead of maximize conversions. And by new accounts, I mean new accounts that don't have any active conversion data in other campaigns or other ad groups. And the reason for this is because if I'm running a Google Ads account and I know that there is no previous conversions in that account, I found that I've always gotten much better results by firstly using the maximize clicks bidding strategy before I move on and start using the maximize conversion strategies. So for a new account, I will start by using the maximize clicks bidding strategy. And then after the campaign, is launched, I will complete Google Ads search term audits every 72 hours where I go through every single search term that has triggered my ads and then add in new negative keywords. And then over the first couple of weeks of that campaign, I will look to add in as many audience groups as possible with the goal of having at least 50% of my clicks and impressions coming from those added audiences that have added to the campaign. And then finally, over those first three to six weeks, I will look to run regular split tests on my ad copies to find out which headlines and descriptions are working better and getting the highest click-through ratios and conversion rates. Now, by using the above strategy and taking the above steps, you are helping to speed up the learning process from Google. And you're doing three main things. By running those regular search term audits every three days or 72 hours, you're stopping Google going down keyword themes which you know are not gonna be successful. Which means that you're stopping keyword tests before they waste any more of your budget from Google. And you need to remember that even if you're using exact match keywords, is that exact match keywords don't exist and they do not operate like they did previously. And this is because Google has now changed over to a meaning-based keyword targeting. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll share with you a link to where you can see my teaching video where I discuss this in greater detail. And then by adding in those extra audiences and detailed demographics, you can start to add in some bid adjustments very early to your campaign, which means that you're focusing more budget on the audiences and the detailed demographic groups, which is showing higher click-through ratios and higher conversion rates. And then finally, with the ad copy split testing, you're making sure that the correct headlines and descriptions appear, which have the highest click-through ratios and the highest conversion rates. And this is a really important point because even with responsive search ads, Google needs 5,000 impressions in a 30-day period to even complete one round of testing for a single responsive search ad. So by running multiple responsive search ads in the same ad group, having some of those with only three headlines and two descriptions, you can very quickly complete the required split testing so you know which headlines and which descriptions are gonna give you the highest click-through ratios and conversion rates. So by completing these above steps, you're gonna be able to move much quicker from those maximized click strategies to those maximized conversion strategies because you're then using your own business knowledge or the knowledge of your client's business to speed up Google's automated learning. And once you've completed those above steps, you can then move your campaign into one of the maximized conversion bidding strategies. And it's important to note how these actually work. By using any of the maximizing conversions bidding strategies in Google Ads, you're giving Google extra power to adjust your CPC bids, the amount that you're willing to pay per click, giving Google greater powers to split test your different headlines and descriptions, or which ads appear. And Google will even go through and automatically update any bid adjustments to your device targeting, your time of day targeting, and also your day of the week targeting. So for example, if you've got a daily budget of $10 a day, but Google knows that you get most of your conversions or your sales on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, especially at nighttime, Google will actually focus more of your spending and increase your spending for those periods. 
So on the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings, you could be spending anywhere between $15 to $20, which is above your $10 daily limit. But then what Google will do is it'll actually reduce your spending down to below $5 for some other days so that your total average throughout the month is that you've only spent that $10 a day or the $300 for the total month. So now that we know how your maximized conversion bidding strategies actually work and when you should be using them, let's go through the different types of maximized conversion bidding strategies. So firstly, there's maximized conversions. And this, as the name suggests, will focus on generating as many conversions as possible using your daily budget. And then as a variation, you can actually use the maximized conversions bidding strategy, but add in a target cost per action or cost per acquisition. And this will focus on generating as many conversions as possible for your ideal cost per conversion. So for example, if you set a target CPA limit of $5 with a daily budget of $20, Google will get as many conversions as possible for under that $5 mark. And this type of bidding strategy is available for search, display, shopping, and performance max campaigns. And this is ideal for existing accounts where you have existing conversion data and you are getting regular conversions, but you want to increase the number of conversions you get each day. So in this situation, you would have been using the maximize clicks bidding strategy, and you're now happy with the regular amount of conversions that you're getting. But if you want to start allowing Google to do some extra testing and add in those extra bid adjustments, also around the time that your ads are showing and also the day that your ads are showing, this is when that you would start to use that maximized conversions bidding strategy. And then the other type of bidding strategy around your conversions speaks to maximize conversion value. And this will focus on generating as many high value or low cost conversions as possible using your daily budget to achieve the highest total conversion value. And then similar to the maximized conversion value, you can actually add in a target ROAS or a target return on your ad spend. And this will focus on generating conversions so that you can achieve your target return on your ad spend. So for example, if you set a target ROAS at 600%, Google will target search terms and users that are likely to return $6 in revenue for every $1 of ad spend. And to be clear, this doesn't necessarily mean that Google will target your highest priced products or your highest priced services. It's more looking at targeting the users and the search terms and the products and the services that will generate that $6 in revenue or conversion value for every $1 of your ad spend. So you could have the situation where you have a low cost item, which also has a very, very low acquisition cost, which means that you can achieve that target ROAS at 600%. And this type of bidding strategy is also available to your search, display, shopping and performance max campaigns. And this is ideal for existing accounts where you have existing conversion data with set conversion values, and you are happy with the current number of conversions you are receiving, but you wanna focus on those higher value or low cost conversions to increase your total ROAS. So now that you know all about the different types of bidding strategies that you can use in your Google Ads campaigns, but more importantly, you also know when you need to use each of those, I wanna go through and quickly show you how you would set these up in a brand new campaign, or if you have an existing campaign, how you actually go through and change your current bidding strategy. So if you're in the process of setting up a brand new campaign, you'll actually see these bidding strategy options come under the budget and the bidding section. So once you've gone through and added in your budget, you'll then get the option of adding in your bidding. You can then go through and either click on your click option, your impression share, or your conversions or conversion value. Now for the clicks, you'll see it through here is that once you've selected clicks, this is where you can actually then go through and set up that maximum CPC bid limit if you wanna do that. And the same for conversions. Once you've initially selected that conversion, it gives you the option. And same too for conversion value is this is where you can actually go through and set up that target ROAS. So if you wanted to get a profit of $6 for every dollar of ad spend, you would add that in at 600. And then if you're using this for impression share, this is where you can actually change those results so that you want it to be the absolute top or the top of page results, which is those top four positions. And then if you want to appear on 80% of searches, you would write this in at 80%. And then once again, if you wanna set in that maximum CPC bid, you can do that right here. So that's how you'd go through and do it if you're setting up a brand new campaign. But if you've got an existing campaign running, you actually need to go in and select the individual campaign that you're wanting to change. And then when you're in that campaign, you then go into settings. And then this brings up this bidding option where you can actually go through and click to change your current bidding strategy 
or if you want to use the same bidding strategy but update your current targeting you can do that here when it comes to updating your current bidding strategy that you're using on an existing campaign I do want to stress that that's an optimization that you only want to be checking to see if you need to change it every 90 days and the reason for that is because if you go through and change your bidding strategies every week or every month you're actually not giving Google enough time to go through and actually find the right users using the right search times at the right time of day on the right device so that you can get the full value out of those more advanced bidding strategies which are focusing on conversions or conversion value. And that's the reason for why I've put together my Google Ads Optimization Checklist because this is a checklist which lets you know exactly when you need to go through and check every single optimization action including your campaign bidding strategies. And if you would like to get your very own copy of my Google Ads Optimization Checklist so you know what you need to optimize in your Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days, I want you to go through and follow the link in the description so you can get your copy today. Now you will remember that earlier in this teaching video, I told you that Google Ads has actually changed its keyword targeting, and that is now actually focused more on a meaning or an intent based. And if you wanna see the latest trends for this and what you need to do, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. As always, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on my next training video. See ya.